Hey guys, welcome back to Historicon 2019, and I am here with Jerry of the Beasts of War, or should I say, the On Tabletop team. On, on Tabletop is the uh, polite way of saying it these days, although mostly I call them otters. <laughs> We're all otters. It seems to upset the staff. Yeah, I guess that's how the acronym kind of goes. Yeah, huh? yeah, it is for me. So I guess one of my questions is, you know, for years I have watched your YouTube channel and always known you guys as Beasts of War. Yeah. And it's been relatively recent that you switched to the on tabletop brand. Yeah. And I just kind of like to talk through, you know, internally, what was the discussion going on about that and why did you make the switch? Well, uh, the main reason behind it was um, wanted to try and grow the channel, grow the brand, but we were constantly butting heads with YouTube and their algorithm where any time war features quite prominently, hmm. it gets shuffled down and doesn't appear in people's lists as highly. Wow. And it's kind of a, like a, a shadow shadow censorship on YouTube's <laughs> part. So it was partly that and the other thing was um, to try and become more inclusive. Uh, we'd started covering more board games, card games, that sort of thing. So rather than just being focusing solely on tabletop war games, just to have that sort of broad spectrum that we have on tabletop and it's it's whatever game you happen to play on tabletop is what we're there for. Well the bad news for you is that we have war in our title, so this video yeah. probably will get bumped way down the yeah, algorithm yeah. And, and no one is going to be able to watch our yeah, discussion. That's, that's okay, we'll, we'll send people your way. <laughs> yeah. So uh, talk to me, speaking of sending people our way, I mean you guys have a, a much larger channel, you've been yeah. around for a lot longer, uh, you know, closing in on 100,000 subscribers. Yeah. How did you, how did you build that kind of channel? It, it's, it's been a, a long slog in some respects. It started off with um, um, mostly a Games Workshop focus. Mm -hmm. So we had 40k, we had uh, fantasy as it was at that stage, and obviously there's always passion for that. Um, in many respects, we were aided to a certain degree by some difficulties with Games Workshop, mm -hmm. where they started to clamp down on what was being shown. At that point, we had to diverge. But then you can just start going, well, okay, well, we can't focus massively on, on GW anymore. So what other companies are out there, what other games are there that people are interested in? I'm starting to showcase and focus on smaller companies. And that actually brought an awful lot of people in. We sort of found a niche there and just started to grow. And it was more a case of if we can try and get the same sort of thing out on a regular basis. People know on a Saturday we get the, the weekend around up, we do the on, uh, on tabletop reviews the unboxings and just it doesn't matter what the content is it might be science fiction this week and then Napoleonics next week but knowing that you have these things coming all the time just sort of brought people in and then they would stick around and go well, what else is there um, so that's kind of how that grew out. How did you guys decide to come to Historicon because I don't recall seeing you here before. No, no it, was, uh, it was an interesting one. we have covered Gen Con in the past and Adepticon and they're behemoths, they're, they're like, you get steamrolled when you're in there. We've done those, people know what they're like, you don't really get a flavour for it. And we thought, well, instead of going back and retreading the same thing, why not come to Historicon and try and show people what else is out there? You've got an awful lot going on here, and people don't really have the focus, they don't see the Historicons and the smaller conventions, because all the focus of most media whether it's the magazines or the websites will be, here's your Essen Spiel, mm -hmm. Salute, Games Expo in the UK, and then Adepticon, Gen Con, and it's that, that are the big five. So since this is your first time here, mm. how would you describe the flavor of the convention? I mean, you've been to all the big ones, so yeah. what uh, what's your impression here? I absolutely love it. It reminds me of the smaller, I mean, and when we talk smaller conventions back in the UK and Ireland, you're talking a couple hundred people through the door, not a couple of thousand, but it reminds me of that where you've got the people who are putting on the participation games really enjoy what they're doing, enjoy the scenarios that they're putting on and getting the players in and know so much about it and you could literally stand in the centre of one of the halls and after an hour or two hours the tables around you have changed, it just cycles so quickly um, and everybody we've spoke to just has such a passion for the hobby which is just fantastic. I think some of the big conventions now are almost too commercial mm. where you don't really see what it is to be a war gamer. You, you see people coming in and, and walking out with bag upon bag under their arms. It's now, a shopping trip. It's a shopping trip right. that yeah. some gaming may appear in right. tangentially, but it's not why they're there. Yeah. Uh, whereas coming here reminds me so much of the conventions I love, where you're going in and you're finding unique games, games with homebrewed rules, 
where people just have a passion for the hobby and it's how can I get this across to somebody else. So I've loved every minute of it. Well, it's been a pleasure talking. I hope that you guys are going to come back to Historicon next year because it's been fun seeing you. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to push for it because I just like seeing the historical games and maybe even get a game or two in. That's that's the tough part, walking up, walking to a table, talking to the people and then knowing I have to walk away without rolling any dice yeah. or shoving any toys around. <laughs> that hurts. That really does.